I heard about Ignite Worldwide through our um, beginning of the year kickoff CTE conference, Korean Technical Education Conference. Uh, and Kathy Rogefeller, the founder of um, Ignite, came and spoke about our program and was super excited to um, talk about how she would bring women in tech either to the school as a panel or that um, teachers could sign up to go on events and promote uh, women and non-binary students um, taking STEM pathway. So I was really connected to that because I know that women are underrepresented in programming, which is my main uh, area that I teach. And so I was excited to work with the organization and kind of have an easy way to bring that into my classroom. When I go to panels or, or facilitate panels set that help to set them up, and there are young women um, who talk about they didn't tell anybody that they were interested in STEM or that they like math or engineering because they didn't want people to think they were nerds or they didn't want to be awkward and they see somebody that for the first time that looks like them doing the thing that they're passionate about it's life-changing for, for those young women. They start taking classes, they um, join the robotics teams, they're, they're saying yes to other opportunities at school that they would have not had the confidence to participate in for fear of people thinking they were dumb or, or nerdy and kind of hiding that passion or interest in STEM. Seeing what the girls had to say, I didn't realize that, you know, they didn't see themselves fitting. They didn't see themselves in the classroom around them. They didn't see themselves in their daily life. But when they went to these Ignite events, they saw themselves on the stage. They felt a part of a community. They felt a sense of self. They saw their potential and they see that they fit, that uh, the STEM field is a wide spectrum and they fit. I wouldn't be where I'm at in life if someone hadn't given me um, the experience or the exposure to opportunities that I'd never seen before. And I saw this as really a great opportunity to expose middle school students to opportunities that they wouldn't have otherwise. Teachers, school folks, administrators were like, oh, we can't do one more thing. This sounds great, but this is just way too much. I don't have the time to take this on. So to start um, Ignite panel, you go to their website. You can do the quick training. Um, if, you, um, if you're a teacher or an educator, you pick a date that you want to have a panel, or you can request a date and a topic area. And if you send that in, they'll contact you back, and it's all set up. The part that the educators do is we recruit the girls. If it's something that's happening on site, we find the space, and typically we provide snacks. And then they do a survey, and that's really it. We're just kind of reserving the room, inviting some girls. It, it really could take 15 minutes to set it up. From the staff, you actually get emails kind of on a weekly basis reminding you of different events and activities that are coming up. And then you can go to their website with one or two clicks. Uh, you can sign up for the event um, and then kind of forget about it for a while. And then when the event gets closer, you can, um, you know, promote the event, get the girls signed up to go, do the permission slips on, on the school side of thing. And then you jump on the bus and you go and everything's set up for you. So it's literally a couple clicks, a couple emails, on the school paperwork and that's it. Um, for a panel, I would say it's even easier. Again, you just go click, sign up for a panel, put in the dates and times that you want to have the panel uh, and all the stuff's provided for you. And there's also a script that's provided for you to kind of help you um, facilitate the conversation of the panel. And, uh, and then again, you just show up to the event, you have the event and the girls um, fill out a survey at the end and that part I actually really like that Ignite does the survey because you get to learn a little bit more about what the girls found interesting or what their new interest in STEM is. And now with the virtual component, it doesn't really matter where you're at, you know, even if you're a rural school, school district, you can still have those industry folks talk to your students anywhere. So that's also uh, pretty awesome. Working with Ignite is amazingly simple. I get an email, I look at the events, I choose what appeals to me. It is pretty flawless and it is 
such a dialed in system that even for me as an educator, I know that I can click a button, I can reserve seats, and I can go to my admin and I can go to my CT department later and they're like, yes, oh, absolutely, because there's such a system that works, that's consistent. I'm excited about the fact that what they learned during COVID is going to be carried forward because they did some really awesome and amazing things. And my kids had opportunities um, because of this that they never would have had normally. I was so impressed to see the iteration process with Ignite. Every event improved, got better. None was ever less than flawless. Everything was very thoughtful, very well put together. The format was there, but we started with panels and by the end, we grew to breakout rooms where kids were coming up with their own marketing plans with developers. Um, I was just amazingly impressed with just how intentional, meaningful, um, and how they started with this model and they said, okay, this is working. What can we do to make it better and to grow it? Some of those schools that were saying, I just don't have time for it. That's too much, we can't do one more thing. All they had to do was log into the Zoom link. And then once they saw one, now they're my champions in their school. They're the ones uh, uh, marketing it and, and promoting it. For teachers, take advantage of this opportunity. Just do one. See how easy it is um, to implement. Number two, see how excited your students get about it. And then number three, See that you don't have to recruit if you're teaching a rigorous course. You don't have to go out and recruit and have all these parent events. You can recruit right from that Ignite event. Um, so instead of a counselor or your parents telling you if you want to do this, you got to do this first. And they don't see anybody that looks like them in that class. Perhaps they're the only girl. By doing these STEM panels and these Ignite panels and these career trips and they're walking into these places seeing these ladies do it, they're like, if they can do it, then I can do it. I think that Ignite and these field trips expose my students specifically to the broader spectrum of the STEM field, that it's not just being a doctor, it's not just being a scientist. The person who's created this format knows what reaches students. They know that it's important that you take the time to have the facilitator. It's important that you have activities. It's important that it's not just a sit and get. It's a interactive, it's intentional. Um, as a teacher myself, it's really nice for me. Um, and initially I was kind of like, well, this is gonna be kind of weird. This is gonna be kind of different. But then once I started going, it's like, okay, wow. They've given me great questions to help the kids so that the kids have an idea. They've done a really purposeful uh, format. Uh, it's, it's awesome and it's pretty, pretty solidly built. Um, and it's pretty consistent. And I think that um, consistency and having that extra facilitator piece is key to having it be such an open environment for school, for students to feel safe and teachers to be able to trust that, okay, they've got this. They're, they're gonna do a great job and, and they do do a wonderful job. Again, all the other intermediate steps of, you know, like, hey, how many people are attending, all that stuff, you just say, hey, this is how many people that I have signed up and Ignite takes care of, you know, that side of it, you know, and you just have to get the permission slips and that's it. I mean, it's that, that simple. The one of the things that I also love about it is our uh, Ignite alumni want to come back and talk to young girls that look like them and say, you know, I felt like you did. And just seeing that connection and the, the girls that have been involved in it now for six years, want to spread the word, they want to come out, they want to speak at everything. So I, I like that it, it's not like you get what you need and you keep going. People want to come back and help the, the next generation.